Welcome to the Bobo Show of the Week. I'm Jennifer Trammell and I'm here with Andrew Glibbery. He is our Bobo of the Week. Now we're going to go ahead and ask him a couple of questions to get to know him better. Now Andrew, where are you from? Um, Powell, Tennessee. How, yes. how long does it take to get there? Uh, like 35, 35 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah. Maybe. Do you like being so close to home? No, uh, not really. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, you know. Yeah. Mom does the laundry. So. That's nice because uh -huh. the laundry prices here I think are ridiculous. Anyway. Now, what are you majoring in? Um, I'm a history major. Why did you want to major in history? I want, I'm going to be a teacher, a high school yeah, teacher. Yeah. So I think it's more about the teaching, although I just like, I really like history. Yeah. yeah. But like, uh, I'm looking forward to teaching. Do you have a particular like time period in history yeah, that you history. like? I always picture myself as like a medieval knight. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> charging around on the horse with the lance. That's awesome. What color horse? Uh, white. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where do the girls ride the? No, no, no. the guys ride yeah. the white horses. White okay. horses, yeah. Now, where do you do your Bonner service? Um, at the Boys and Girls Club. How are you enjoying Jersey. that so far? I love it. It's Good. great. I honestly wasn't um, when I first signed up for it. It was just like something just to get hours, but it's really become something I love. Yeah. Doing, yeah. you know, like see the kids' places or whatever. You know, yeah. Whatever. Well, since you've been a Bonner, name something that you've learned. I think from what I've learned is like. It's more of an ideal of, of just like being socially aware mm -hmm. and um, for me it's just opened a lot of doors, or not doors necessarily, but maybe like ideas and yeah, just yeah. different ways of thinking, um, being aware of, you know, find, trying to find my identity in this community um, that is a, a low income community, you know, kind of thing and, and, you know, understanding that their problems are, you know, just as much my problems right, in many right. ways, you know, um, and just uh, that's kind of, just like a different way of thinking is what yeah. Bonner, I guess, has really like helped me with. Do you have like a certain Bonner moment that you've enjoyed? Uh, um, I will, yeah, well, we went to Charleston last year, mm -hmm. you know, I went with a freshman, and that was a lot of fun. Then also just like the, the music shack at the Clear Fork, that's always a good time too. See, I didn't go to that, uh, okay. why did you like it so much? Well, it's just an interesting place, like you'd never expect, you would think it's just, I mean, it's kind of just trash turned into treasure. Like, like instruments. <laughs> oh, yeah. Treasure. <laughs> um, but I remember a specific little boy, his name's Robbie, he asked Kaylin to dance. Aww. And um, I just like, I hold that moment in my heart yeah. as a special Bonner moment. as one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. So um, that was a great moment. Uh, I think one of the best things about being a Bonner is that we are encouraged and like empowered to, you know, do something we're passionate about and then to actually like, make change. Mm -hmm. um, like we have, like you know, we're able to choose where we where we serve, but also we're encouraged to get involved or like get involved in different things. But then we have access to funds and whatnot, like mm -hmm. to make a difference. Well, now we're gonna get into some sillier questions to get to know the real deep inside of Andrew Glibbery. What kind of of movies or TV shows do you like? Oh my God. Okay. Well, I'm gonna okay TV shows, mm -hmm. Scrubs. Uh, I love Scrubs, um, but I have some new favorites. I'm, uh, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's a I great watched one. one episode. Oh, yeah. and it was pretty funny. It's great. Yeah. I love it. Um, and then Arrested Development. You ever seen mm -hmm. it? Oh, it's it's really smart. I mean, it's really like really yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard some good. It's my new. It's probably my new favorite right now. You know, I've never seen Scrubs either. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm sorry. It's such a big thing with Carson Newman's campus. Like everybody watches Scrubs, but. Oh man. I know, I'm sorry, I failed you. Well, That's weird. in a previous interview, we uh, discussed with Paul oh, Tucker how he feels about the movie Wanted. This has been an ongoing debate between uh, Chris Wooden, myself, Paul Tucker, and Andrew. Um, now, Andrew, tell me, why do you think it is a good movie? First reason, they curb bullets. And I just love that. It. it just blows my mind. <laughs> they curb bullets. And uh, I like to picture myself as I'm walking to class, like, what I can curb and shoot. You know, like... Yeah. <laughs> Like if I could curve it around the columns and you know, hit Paul Tucker as he, yeah, you know, that's yeah. what I would love to do. Probably with a BB gun, not like a, a bullet. Bullet, you know. <laughs> um, but also, I think the acting is just brilliant. Um, I mean, if you look at it from a literary context, like, like whoever wrote it was just brilliant. I'd say like Edgar Allan Poe. Um, or, but I think the acting is what really takes one to the next level, and that you've got the one guy doing a great job. And then you got Angelina Jolie, who, I can just see why Brad Pitt would like her. You know, like, just smart and, uh, hot. Oh. Wanted is awful. How could you say that? 
I challenge thee to a duel. Okay, Andrew, I've heard that you're going to go travel abroad. This is coming soon. What What are you doing? Um, I'm doing the Oxford Studies program mm -hmm. here. Um, Amanda Ford, who was a previous Bonner uh, coordinator, coordinator uh, has done it before. And she's been helping me and my roommate, who is also going, Isaac Sharp. Oh, really? I yeah. didn't know that. So, like, the two of us are going. Um, and Carson will be paying for it, most of it, which yeah. is good. Uh, we'll be going to England to study at Oxford for two months and then we have a 10 days to travel like that on our own. That would be so fun. Yeah. Have you ever been there before? No. I'm about to though. Yeah. So, um, okay. And like Harry Potter. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter. And Hermione lives in Oxford. So like, yes I'm going to get an education but I have like all teary motives um, as well as that maybe like Meeting slash wooing slash marrying <laughs> Emma Watson and right, Hermione yeah. would be on the top priority list. So, um, I wish you luck. Thanks. A great amount of luck. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on uh, our yeah, show, Andrew. Again, this is Andrew Glibbery, and he is our Bobo of the Week.